Introduction to Child Safety Restraint Systems on School Buses We bus drivers have an important job. Every day, we make sure millions of children get to and from school safe and sound. A school bus is the safest vehicle on the road for student transportation. And that's not just me saying it either because I'm a driver. That's from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, or NHTSA for short. Part of what makes school buses so safe are the compartments the seats form. You see, the seats are close together and have high flexible backs with energy absorbing padding to keep our young riders safe. Many school buses transport very young children, including preschool and Head Start students, and even infants. The school bus compartments alone can't keep these youngest passengers safe. So what are we school bus drivers, bus monitors, transportation coordinators, and school administrators supposed to do? The answer, my friends, is CSRS, Child Safety Restraint Systems. They come in many forms. They can be car seats, they can be safety vests, and they can even be built into the seats on some buses. Do you know what this is? It's the federal code that says all Head Start students must ride in CSRS. It's the law. Children riding on your bus who are preschool aged or younger should ride in a child safety restraint system. For the next few minutes, we're going to look at how to use three different types of CSRS on school buses. We'll talk about how to pick the right safety system for each child, how to install each system, and how to properly secure your young passengers in each system. Before we go any further, I want you to remember four important steps when it comes to working with child safety restraint systems. The steps are selection, direction, location, and installation. Kind of catchy, right? Now, let's talk about each of these four steps. Selection means picking the right CSRS for the right child based on height and weight, and based on the bus you are using. Direction can be rear-facing for our youngest riders, or forward-facing for older children. Location refers to where on the bus you install your CSRS. I'll point out some important things to keep in mind to protect your young riders and all the riders around them. Installation covers all the things you'll need to know to set up each type of restraint correctly on your bus. And once we have our child safety restraint system on board, I'll show you a few things to remember about each system so you can secure a child in it correctly every time. To that end, we'll cover the four S's of child placement. For each system, we'll point out how to check that you have the right size system for the child, that the child is seated correctly, that the harness is in the correct shoulder position on the child, and that the straps are adjusted correctly. Size, seated correctly, shoulder position, straps. No sweat. Remember, it's up to us to keep all of our passengers safe. The following modules will give you the information you need to make that happen.